Hey guys, and welcome to your Two Minute Money Manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question comes to us from Carla. Carla says, my husband and I are considering buying our first house. How do we know how much we can afford? Well, Carla, I got three things for you. Thing number one, there's some rules of thumb that'll help you. Uh, traditionally, you shouldn't be spending more than 30% of your monthly income on housing costs. So you can use that as a rule of thumb. Another rule of thumb is you can buy a house that uh, is three to five times your annual income. Uh, so now the three to five is the range because you might have other debt. The more other debt you have, obviously, the less, house, the less house you can afford. So those are just rules of thumb. To get a better idea, there are calculators online. Zillow has one. They're, they're all over the Internet. You can look it up. Uh, and uh, if you really want a great idea of how much you can afford, go to a mortgage broker and uh, just tell them, you know, fill out an application, in other words, and see how much you can afford. Now, thing number two is forget thing number one. <laughs> what I'm saying here is that when you find out how much house you can afford by using a calculator, talking to a mortgage broker, or using these rules of thumb, what you're, what you're learning is the maximum amount you can borrow. And when you tell a realtor, the maximum amount you can borrow, guess what? You're gonna be shown houses that are at or above that maximum amount. What you really should be doing is buying a house that you can afford and serves your needs. You know, you're gonna be very tempted to buy the, you know, as much house as you can possibly afford because you wanna impress your friends, you wanna have a nice house. Now it can make sense to buy an expensive house if real estate values are going up. I mean, you know, you're speculating then. But generally speaking, remember this, take it from someone who's owned lots of houses. When you buy a house, you will be heating, cooling, cleaning, insuring, and paying property taxes on every room in that house. So every square foot that you're buying that you don't need is costing you money that you wouldn't, be have, you wouldn't have to be spending. So I want you to think about that. I want you to buy what you need, not what you want, what your friends want, what your parents want, or what that realtor wants. Make sense? Okay, that leads me to thing number three. How do you go about doing this? First, have good credit. This is another thing that will determine how much house you can afford. Let me give you an example. Say you're borrowing $300,000 on a mortgage 30-year loan. If you get a 4% rate because your credit is awesome, then you're going to pay about $215,000 in interest over the life of that loan. If you get a 5% rate because your credit's not so awesome, you're gonna pay $280,000 in interest over that same 30 year period. In other words, guys, you're gonna spend $65,000 more on interest because you had crappy credit. Now, that 65 grand could put your kids through college. It could help you retire early. It could, furnish, it, it could uh, help you establish your own business. So have good credit before you start this whole process. It can take a long time to improve your credit. So start as soon as you can. Then when you're ready, when your credit is good, then get pre-approved for a loan. That means you've gone to a lender, they've agreed to lend you X amount of dollars, and, that, and now you're ready to shop. If you're not pre-approved and you're shopping, that's like going to the mall without bringing your wallet. You can't buy anything. So, good credit, pre-approval. Got it? Hope that answers your question, and I'll see you right here next time.